Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, man, so Jenna Big gets a second round KO over Butler. Basically, uh, Butler was clearly not in the same league with Jenna Big. Jenna Big is a very hard puncher. Um, it would be interesting to see Jenna Big versus some of the other guys. Jenna Big can punch, but it really comes down to skill set. And the thing is with Jenebeck, you would like to see how he would match up against the other guys. And he basically said he'll fight anybody at 160. Um, at the end of the day, we all already know about the politics in boxing. And that's just unfortunate because at the end of the day, uh, everybody loses when you can't get the best fights made because you have the politics with everybody being tied to networks, promoters, and all this kind of stuff, which to me, fights can be made if people really desire to make fights. And then at the same time, the worst part about it is you got a lot of content creators that are fanboys of promotional companies and uh, certain fighters and certain TV networks. Me, myself, like I said, I just want to see the best fights being made. And that's all I care about. I'm out on nobody's payroll, and I'm going to continue to say that. I have, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I have nothing at stake if whatever fight happens. I just want to see the fights happen so I could be able to cover the fight and talk about the fight, and that's basically it. But um, Genevieve, um, that was his second successful title defense. Now, what's next for him? That remains to be seen. But anyway, it's your boy Town Biz. I'm out.